Welcome. Thank you for arriving. Let's land and explore and breathe and take a breath to celebrate just your arrival. Nice big breath in through the nose and open the mouth to exhale. Let's get right into some exploration of wiggles. So with your palms face down on your thighs, make those semicircles with the body. Maybe a slight pressure of the hands into the legs. Maybe you lean to one side or open up through the arms. But as you move, let the mind begin to rest on the sensations that are right here, patiently waiting underneath the busyness of our day to be explored and felt and soothed by that balm of your presence. Breathe a little bit deeper. And let's roll all the way up until our feet land. The knees will lift, bringing the hands towards the shins. Press the shins into the hands and then pull the hands back towards the legs. Inhale, feel the heart extend forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around through the spine. Feel something between the shoulder blades. And then move with your own breath. Inhale, find that slower cadence. Exhale, round. Maybe notice the pause between the in-breath and notice the pause at the bottom, that full and complete empty. Feeling the spine nice and long. Fingers come behind you, palms press down. Push into the feet and the hands. Inhale, lift open through the hips. Push into the hands a little bit more and maybe the collarbones widen. Soften through the face, even here, breathe in. And then exhale, soften the hips down, but not all the way. Inhale, rise up again, and then this time, you can sort of press one knee to the top of the mat and drop the opposite hip. And again, just take some movements to explore not only the places that are calling for breath, but explore the places that also feel free and open, a little watery quality, maybe through the inside of the hips. Good, softening the hips all the way down. Let's rock our way through hands and knees. You can spread the fingers nice and wide. Walk the hands forward in front of the shoulders just a little bit. And then press into the hands, feel the pelvic tuck. Draw the pelvis towards the navel, the navel towards the heart, the chin towards the heart. Stay like this, rounding through the back body and take a breath there. And then as you exhale, just let that go, soften, maybe active child's pose, slide back. Good, this time round forward, breathe in, push through the fingertips. And then drop the belly, feel the pelvic tilt and the tailbone lift, soften through the heart and soften through the jaw. And then roll and round through the spine, move with breath just for two, round forward. And then exhale, hips glide back. Maybe feel the hands pull towards you. saturating these cells with that prana, with that presence. This time, round all the way up and stand nice and high. So standing up on the knees. From here, let's step our left foot all the way out to the side, and you can turn the left toes out. Maybe sort of rock the weight a couple times, side to side, feel into the hips. 
and then finding a flow here. So you'll slide your left forearm onto the thigh and the right fingertips open you, open the heart. Exhale, round forward. Let the right hand maybe find the hip or connect to the ankle. Hips press forwards. Heart spirals. Side to side you go. Maybe take up a little bit more space. And underneath the busyness of where we go or where we've been, there is this nurturing presence that is so thankful for your arrival and your willingness to feel. Good, inhale all the way up and then lengthen that left leg. Turn the toes to the top of the mat and bring the hands down again. So from here, feel the tailbone lift a little bit more. Push into the left hand. Inhale, spiral the right fingertips open. And then exhale, weave the right hand over to the left side. Soften the shoulder almost all the way down. And then push into the ground. Inhale, reach and roll open again. Exhale, thread it through. One more like that, breathe in. Maybe feel some elongation through the spine. Soften there, let the shoulder melt down. Tuck the chin and let the temple rest. Whatever variation you have with your left hand. And then as we land in these sometimes funny shapes <laughs> that can sometimes be uncomfortable, just notice where you can soften in any direction, like maybe the belly, let's go. And maybe with that quality of letting go through the belly, you can feel more deeply into this rotation of the spine, imagining the little pockets of space between the vertebrae. <sighs> All right, we'll unravel. <laughs> Push the left hand down. Both hands land. You're gonna bring that left, those left toes over to the right side. Curl the toes under. Lift through the tailbone. You can either rock the weight forwards and backwards, or you might draw the right shoulder in direction of the right hip. Maybe the heart softens and the elbows bend. Inhale through the center. Imagine moving from like the density of your lungs. So how can you find that quality of attention that goes beyond the obvious and starts to explore what is subtle, yet so incredibly life-giving? Okay, through the center we go. Somehow squeeze the left knee forward and help the left foot all the way up to the top of the mat. Maybe the hips sink low. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, hands rise. Bend through the elbows. Pull the shoulder blades down a little bit more. Breathe for two. And whatever part of you is looking to be remembered or explored, slowing down the breath so that those places feel safe enough to emerge. And let's air out through the front and the back of the heart. So inhale, elbows pull back, heart goes wide. And then exhale, lengthen the arms, round like concave through the, through the front body, round the spine and bring the back of the palms to touch. And then inhale, let that open. Exhale, round. Good, strong breath, two more. Can you move from more of that watery quality? Inhale, hands rise. Push down to feel the foundation. And then let that foundation support a transition. Lift the back knee and step the back foot to the top of the mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Let go through the head. And you can sway the upper body. Push down into the feet, feel a slight bend through the knees. 
And then lift just halfway, inhale, halfway. Exhale, breathe out the mouth, fold down. Inhale, halfway, cleansing any limited perspectives. Open the mouth, exhale, create more room for a wider expanse of welcoming life as it is. And bending the knees a lot so you can ripple and feel the spine unravel. Maybe the shoulders draw high and then pull down and back. Pushing through the feet. Inhale, hands nice and high. Exhale, bring the palms together at the heart space. Shift the weight into the right foot. Sorry, left foot. Push down into that left foot. And then with softness through the joints, through the knees. Lengthen the right leg back behind you. So a little balance, maybe a little play. You can reach the arms wide. You can reach the hands back behind you. You can keep the heart spacious, but definitely breathe. So don't abandon, abandon yourself when things feel shaky, but stay connected to what holds you within that shakiness, falling included. It's welcomed. And then nice and sweetly, gently, <laughs> Feel the right toes soften back, let them land, and let that ripple all the way up through the spine. High lunge, open the heart, inhale. Exhale, round the spine, palms together, back of palms together. Inhale, open. Exhale, round, back of palms together. One more like that. Empty the breath. Warrior two, soften the right heel down and unravel. Keep flowing, stay in your breath, reverse your warrior, inhale, send it back. And then with the softness through both knees, come into triangle pose, lengthen the front leg, over we go. Bend through the front knee, reverse, inhale. And then exhale, come through center. All the way over, one more like that. Letting the breath sort of stretch to accommodate the movement. Hands land all the way down, come through hands and knees. If you wish, you can explore a downward facing dog or a child's pose. You can round or roll through the spine. You can pedal out the legs. Three breaths. And can you look for the quietest sensation and then move from that place? Good, let's all meet standing up on the knees. Inhale, hands nice and high. Step the right foot out to the side and turn the toes nice and wide. So stacking the knee over the ankle. And again, you can sort of play shifting, maybe breathing. And then eventually the right forearm can find the thigh Left fingertips can reach, get super lazy through, through the spine and through the shoulders, through the head. And beyond the picture of how life is revealing itself, just come back into the sweet possibility of finding freedom within what's real, within a sensation, within a breath, presence. Okay, lengthen through the right leg, toes turn to face forward, hands draw down, spread the fingers wide, push down into the right hand, 
Inhale, twist open to the left. And then weave the left hand over to the right. The shoulder drops down. And then it picks back up. Open, feel that rotation through spine. Exhale. Good, one more like this. And then feel that left shoulder land. Maybe the right hand reaches up and around. Definitely tuck the chin to feel the head rest. And soften the belly here. And soften any of the tiny muscles around the face the masks that we're so used to wearing, that there's no expression to hold, not right now. Unravel, both hands land, push down. Lifting right toes all the way over to the left side. Toes curl under and press, tailbone lifts, breathe in. Draw the shoulder, left shoulder in direction of the hip. Maybe the heart softens, maybe the elbows go wide. Inhale through the center, find some freedom through the back of the neck. And this quality of presence that allows that fluctuation That availability to regard change as an ally, not a burden. One more. And then find your way to let that right foot come all the way forward. Whoosh. And Janayasana, soften through hips, hands high. Bend the elbows, explore. Two very generous breaths. And this heart, as it expands and contracts, this reminder that as humans, one moment we feel unstoppable, and sometimes the next moment completely broken. And that healing or equanimity happens when we let there be room for both the crumbling and the rebuilding. Inhale, heart wide. Exhale, hollow out the front body, back of the palms come together, maybe tuck the tailbone. Inhale, let something wake from the belly to the heart. Exhale, round through. Two more, breathe and move. Good, inhale, up we go. Both hands land. Lift the back knee and step Uttanasana, forward fold at the top of the mat. Head softens, maybe shake out the head. Option to bend the knees and interlace the hands at the low back. If the hands are interlaced, maybe as you breathe out, you feel the hands pull away from the low back and give your shoulders some attention just by feeling and breathing. Good. Soften the hands down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Open the mouth, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Pull up from the ground. Exhale. Push through the feet and roll all the way up to stand. Maybe let the hands reach and the shoulders soften. Shift the weight into the right foot and then have a little play or balance. So feel the left leg lengthen back and the heart can stay nice and wide. Fingertips maybe at the chest, or maybe reach wide or behind you. 
And beyond the shakiness, there's a natural midline. And your body's looking to find that. Breathe. And then nice and sweetly, feel the left toes land. Inhale, open, high lunge. Exhale, back of palms come together. One more, inhale, open. Empty fully. Warrior two, rise up. Bend through the front knee. Flip the front palm. Reverse, inhale. Lengthen the front leg, exhale, trikonasana. Flowing like this, two more. And can you let the breath hold the movement? On your next exhalation, beautiful, beautiful presence. Both hands land all the way down. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Take a few ripples through the spine, bend the knees generously, round forward. Lift through the tailbone, soften the heart. Two more just like this or your own variation of some wiggles through the spine, some energy. Maybe shake out the head. And let's close this short mindful flow in a wide leg, wide knees, child's pose. Let the knees go nice and wide and the toes connect. Maybe the forehead rests on the ground. And then breathe, breathe into the low back. And if there's any part of you that can soften in any direction, this gesture of reverence or however life is being expressed that the heart welcomes, welcomes it all, and the heart is available to meet what's here. And so as your day unfolds, may you get glimpses of the ways that this heart, in its subtle yet profound way, is supporting you right where you are. You can take two more breaths. And rolling up to find a comfortable seat. And feel the palms connect. And the heart rises towards the thumbs and the head humbles towards the heart. One big breath in through the nose. And open the mouth, exhale. Namaste.